Nice to see you again, duckies. What magic can you show us today? You will see soon. Okay, we'll wait. I'm excited. Look at this picture. This is the first one. Let's call it as A. Look at this picture closely as well. Let's call this picture as B. Look at this picture closely as well. Let's call this picture as C. Look at this picture closely as well. Let's call this picture as D. Okay, now I have a question. Which two pictures are identical? Take a careful look. You only see two pictures which are exactly the same. Which ones are those? Is it A and B? No, it's not. Try again. Is it B and C? No, that's not right either. Try again. It's A and B. You got that right. Let's give a big round of applause. <laughs> Let's look at the two pictures which are the same. You can see the four flowers, red rose, sunflower, pink tulip, and purple orchid in the same order between these two pictures, A and D. So those are the only two pictures that are exactly the same. We call them identical. Let's make these pictures disappear and get a set of new pictures. Okay, here we go. Look at this picture. It has a bunch of fruits in a certain order. Let's call it as A. The same fruits, but are they in the same order? Take a look. Let's call this as picture B. Look at this picture closely as well. Let's call this picture as C. This is the final picture. Look at the order of the same fruits. Let's call this picture as D. Okay, now I have a question. Which two pictures are identical? Look closely. You'll see only two pictures are exactly the same. Which ones are those? Is it A and C? No, it's not. Try again. Is it B and C? That's exactly right. Let's give a big round of applause. <laughs> Let's look at the two pictures which are the same. You can see the four fruits, banana, grapes, strawberry and pear in the same order between these two pictures, B and C. So these are the only two pictures that are exactly the same. We call them identical. Let's make these pictures disappear and get a set of new pictures. Okay, here we go. That's a set of animals. I'm sure you know them. Let's call it A. Take a careful look. Take your time. Let's call this picture as B. You know what to do? Look at this picture. Let's call this picture as C. This is the last one. Take a look. Let's call this picture as D. Okay, now I have a question. Three of the pictures had the same four animals. One of them was different. Which one was it? Look closely. You will see only one picture that has a different animal. Which one is it? Is it A? No, it's not. Try again. Is it B? No, that's not right either. Is it C? Okay, you got it. But which animal was different in this picture? It's the horse. That animal is not found in other pictures. Exactly. Let's give a big round of applause. <laughs> pictures A, B and D had the same animals. Namely, cat, dog, cow and a pig. Even though they were not in the same order. But picture C had a different animal, namely horse. So that's the picture which is different. That's a set of toys. I'm sure you like to play with them. Let's call it A. Look again. Take your time. Let's call this picture as B. Look at the picture carefully. Let's call this picture as C. This is the last one. Let's call this picture as D. Okay, now I have a question. Three of the pictures had the same four toys. One of them was different. Which one was it? 
Look closely. You'll see only one picture that is a different toy. Which one is it? It's me! Wow! That's perfect! How did you find it so quickly? I saw the helicopter. That's not found in other pictures. Exactly! Let's give a big round of applause. There were four toys in all the pictures. Pictures A, C and D had the same toys. Namely, a toy airplane, a toy car, a toy truck and a toy train engine, even though they were not in the same order. But picture B had a different toy, namely the helicopter. So that's the picture which is different. Thank you for all the magic, Monty. I'm sure everyone enjoyed it. You're very welcome, Mother Duck. Bye, Monty. Bye, duckies. Let's recall. Hi, this is Rhea. Welcome, everyone. We saw Mr. Monty show sets of pictures to explain the concept of similarity and difference. Let's recall them. Take a look at the three sets of pictures below. Can you tell which two are exactly the same? Is it A and B? Or is it B and C? Or is it A and C? Yes, B and C are exactly the same. Let's take a look. Let's look at the two pictures which are the same. You can see the four fruits, banana, grapes, strawberry, and pear in the same order between these two pictures, B and C. So these are the only two pictures that are exactly the same. We call them identical. Let's see another one. Take a look at the three sets of pictures below. Can you tell which one among the three has a different toy? Does this box have a different toy? Or is it this one? Or is it that one? Yes, this is the box that has a different toy not found in the other two boxes. Let's take a look. There were four toys in all the pictures. Pictures A and C had the same toys. Namely, a toy airplane, a toy car, a toy truck, and a toy train engine, even though they were not in the same order. But Picture B had a different toy, namely the helicopter. So that's the picture which is different. to you little ones yes I know opposites I can tell you a little bit more about it yay that's good tell us some more about opposite I'll do even better I'll do some magic with opposites yay yay that's good do you want to grow tall of course 
I'd love to grow tall. Your wish is my command. Here you go. That's fantastic. She is so tall. Let's give Monty a big round of applause. My goodness, can I get back to being short again? Yes, I can do that. I want to show that tall is the opposite of short. Look at the other ducklings. They are short and you are tall. So, short and tall are opposites. Yes, short is opposite of tall. And tall is the opposite of short. Okay, let's get the tall duckling back to normal. Take a look here. I have a glass box and a ball here. Keep an eye on the ball. Is the ball outside the box or inside? It's outside the glass box. Good. Don't look away. Keep looking at the ball. Abracadabra! Wow! How did you do that? Well, that's magic. Now the question is, is the ball inside or outside the box? The ball is inside the box, of course. Let me do it again. Now the ball is outside the box. One more time. Keep your eyes on the ball. Okay, now it's inside again. I see. Inside and outside are opposites. Exactly. Inside and outside are opposites of each other. Let's do one more thing. Look over here. Here's a glass. And it's empty. Now, the glass is full. Empty and full are opposites. Bravo! That was great! Let's give another round of applause. I'll do the next trick. Okay, we are loving it. I think we can do something with the mother duck. Yay! That will be nice. Look! Your mom is up on the tree. Don't worry, we'll get you down. You are up now, and all the ducklings are down. And up and down are opposites. I see it. I am up on the tree, and my little ones are down there. Up and down are opposites. Exactly. It's time to get you back here. We learned a lot about opposites. Bye now! Bye, duckies. See you soon. Let's recall! Hi, this is Rhea. Welcome, everyone. We saw Mr. Monty perform a lot of magic. I hope you liked it. In the process, we learned about opposites. Okay, it's time to recall them. What is the opposite of sad? Is it tall? Is it inside? Or is it happy? Yes, opposite of sad is happy. Let's take a look. If two things are completely different from each other, we call them as opposites. Our new friend was so sad and now she is happy. We know sad and happy are totally different from each other. We call them opposites. So, happy and sad are opposites. I got it. Okay, let's see another one. Which one of them is the opposite of empty? Is it big? Or is it full? Or is it up? Yes, opposite of empty is full. Let's take a look. Look over here. Here's a glass. And it's empty. Now, the glass is full. Empty and full are opposites. 